This is for the people news. All right. Uh, this video is without prejudice or and without recourse. Not attorney, and I give him legal advice. However, just always remember, never look just straightforward. Always look around you, be able to protect yourself by any means necessary, people. And you know, in order to do that, we got to think outside the box. What is the cause and effect? All right, well, I'm thinking outside the box. This is arm's distance. Haven't researched it enough to know yay or nay. Okay. Probably since the 1920s. And even Hitler, I mean, they say it was, you know, the German people, but it sort of looks like that even Hitler was backed by large United States corporations. Not necessarily the United States of America. This is the United States, which is a probably a Vatican-based corporate water law-based international system that's uh, usurped itself like these serpents do <laughs> into the United States of America, into the United States of America, and they call themselves the United States wrote it in an all uppercase D base Latin and created a copy or a quasi of the real thing. And I think that was done in order that the people never really um, conned on the difference between the real United States and the quasi United States. So it gave the people of America the, uh, the impression that uh, they were serving their own country when maybe in fact they were serving international foreign uh, bankers. <laughs> this is something that Edward Mandelhouse said to Woodrow Wilson. Very soon, every American will be required to register their biological property, that's you and your children, in a national system designed to keep track of the people and that will operate under the ancient system of pledging, contracting. By such methodology, we can compel people to submit to our agenda, which will affect our security as a charge back for our fiat paper currency. You'll probably remember in the birthing certificate um, video, the last one I did, explain the two houses where they shift you or convert you from the creditor into the debtor and then you pay back the creditor. You pay back yourself but because you were changed from debtor from creditor to debtor and you didn't know about it then really you were returning the money to the agent and because you never came back the agency kept the money. <laughs> I want to pause there for a second again is my opinion. Okay, uh, from my research, that's the reason why the word you is so uh, ominous of being used in any uh, bills or even courts papers. You is a banking word that means actually debtor. So you owe a debt. I'll keep going. <laughs> Every American will be forced to register or suffer being able to work and earn a living. They will be our chattels, property, and we will hold the security invest we will hold a security interest over them forever. Because you'll never know, you'll never come back. You'll never be able to reclaim your um, asset, your birthright. They will be our chattels, our property, which is, and we will hold the security interest over them forever by operation of law merchant under the scheme of secured transactions. Americans, by unknowingly or unwittingly delivering the bills of laden, which is the birth certificates it says here, to us will be, re will be rendered bankrupt and insolvent secured by their pledge 
may be affected by the contract. They will be stripped of their rights and given a commercial value designed to make us a profit. And they will be none the wiser, as you are not, because you're holding the wrong birth certificate. <laughs> For not one man in a million, not one man in a million, this is what Edward uh, Mandelhaus was saying, for not one man in a million uh, could ever figure out our plans. And if by accident one or two should figure it out, we have in our arsenal plausible deniability. After all, this is the only logical way to fund government by floating liens and debts to the registrants in the form of benefits and privileges. This will inevitably reap us huge profits beyond our wildest expectations and leave every American a contributor to this fraud. Now, he's saying there it's the only way they can do it, yet it's going to reap huge profits that they will never even be able to understand. <laughs> And he admits it's a fraud. So it's a fraud against the people of their national countries. It's a fraud by the international bankers over the nationality of the people of their own lands. It's, it's a piracy it's to rob the treasury of the people. This will inevitably reap us huge uh, profits beyond our wildest expectations and leave every American a contributor to this fraud, which we will call social insurance. Without realizing it, every American will unknowingly be our servant. That's a slave. However, begrudgingly, the people will become helpless and without any hope for their redemption. And we will employ the high office presidency of our dummy corporation, USA, in all caps. All right, we're going to call this short and sweet. We're going to end it right there. Just for you something to think about. All right. Title 28, USC 3002. 15, uh, Section 8. It's a corporation. And this is what they're talking about. And, if you guys recall history, <clears throat> people didn't trust banks at the time. They started sticking their money under mattresses. But because they did this, the banks didn't like it. So they had to figure out what could they do. Well, what they did is actually confiscated everybody's gold and they blamed it on uh, people uh, stopping the economy from going. Okay? Well, bankers can't have that. They need people to borrow money. If the economy is not going, all right, these will be people new. Bye, y'all.